Today we're in Song of Solomon chapter 3. Now remember, as with any text, without context, a text can be confusing. Even used as a pretext, meaning you can intentionally or unintentionally understand or use the text to have it say whatever you want it to say, or use it to justify something that the text just doesn't. So chapter 3, our text, is within the context of the book of the Song of Solomon, a book rooted in literal history and a powerful description of romantic love between a man and a woman. And chapter 3 opens with this description of a woman in love wanting to be with the man she's in love with. And the chapter describes her going after him and finding him. And there's so much more in this chapter about this romantic relationship. But one takeaway for us today is to be reminded that in our relationship with God, we're constantly reminded throughout Scripture to pursue Him. Not because He's playing a game of hide and seek with us. In fact, we know from God's Word that He first pursues us. First John tells us that we love Him because He first loved us. But I want to remind you, and even encourage you, that it's only in a response of pursuing God that we find what we're really looking for in life. There's so many other things that we can pursue in our lives, but the ultimate place of satisfaction is in the presence of God. So like this woman described in chapter three today of, of the Song of Solomon, let me encourage you, pursue after God. It's like the psalmist wrote in Psalm 16, you will show me the way of life granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever.